Good afternoon. Welcome to my broadcast. <laughs> my name is Barry Selby. I am a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert and help strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. And every day I do a talk on Facebook initially, but then goes to YouTube called Message from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. And this is number 370, and this is called uh, Lady, Women Get to Shoot. Sorry, the title is She Gets to Choose, Men Listen Up. And this seems to be the, is the third in a apparently new series I'm doing about men listen up, because um, I've had to listen, so, <laughs> so speaking from experience. And I hope this one will help you with some ideas and understanding of the dating and the relationship arena for how men can be more effective and successful. So first of all, in the dating arena, the pre-relationship place, um, we men think we can go ahead and select and swipe and find what we want and choose and pursue. But the reality is this, especially with the Me Too conversation going on right now, women get to choose. We may get to ask, we may get to invite, we may get to, to court, but it's up to the women to choose. The women get to decide this. And when men forget this, they get in trouble. So make sure you get this point clearly. There's going to be a, a switch on this in a moment, but I'm getting to this point first. Um, Alison Armstrong, one of the teachers I've studied with, talks about how um, dating as a tool, a vehicle, is a masculine practice. Because dating is really like hunting. And the way that she describes it, and I get this clearly, is for men, what we're doing, and sorry to make it unromantic, but what we're really doing is going, looking, is going different women going, are you the one? Are you the one? Are you the one? Are you the one? And we're selecting through to find the one that we feel most aligned. Now, she may or may not choose us back. That's a different story. But the reality is that dating is meant to be a practice for men to pursue, to seek out, to court women. If women do it to men, it's backwards and it messes things up. Speaking from experience. And I've talked about that before. So that's one piece. Let me jump into the relationship side for a moment too. Because in relationship, this is where men get to decide, get to choose. And it sounds backwards, but this is the way it works. In, um, sorry, I didn't, didn't meet my computer, so I'm getting beeps and bells and whistles coming up from the other side. So in dating in the courtship side, men get to pursue, but women get to decide and choose. And they say yes or no, and men, you got to live with it. In the relationship, what she wants most of all is when you're going to go out somewhere, you men, yes, us men, need to make the choice. So, for example, if you ask your, your woman, your girlfriend, your wife, I'm not sure where we should go tonight, can you decide? You might get that. You might have a... Um, an answer but if you keep doing that you can she's gonna get really upset with you because she wants you to do the decision making here's a tip here's a key that makes that will spice up your love life one thing secondly especially once you know your partner fairly well will be very very much appreciated especially if she works for a living and she wants to take some time out so here's an idea she comes home from work and she's exhausted and tired and you say look tomorrow night I'm taking you out is what you say to her men I'll pick you up if you're not in the same place or you're going to say, I'll have you be ready by 7.30, whatever that time is, giving a time from when she gets, gets home from work to get settled in, get cooled down, to get to have a bu bubble bath, something like that, to get back to restore to being feminine. You say, be ready at this time. Wear that red dress I love you, to, love you wearing and those shoes that I like. And that's what you tell her. Nothing else. You've made the decision and the choice to make all the plans, to make all the different... Um, content of the date she doesn't do anything and ladies i know will comment on this that that would be the best gift you can give her so i know it's count it's counter to what i said in the title but i'm talking the title about the decision up front in the dating and courtship arena is where the woman the feminine gets to decide gets to choose gets to say yes or no and men i make this clear to you you need to listen because the men who don't listen get in trouble, and that's what some of the Me Too movement's about, is that men not listening and certainly getting feedback. But I'm not going down that path. On the other side, which is in the relationship arena, that's when a woman really appreciates you making the choice to make things happen. Now, a couple of caveats. First of all, if you make a choice that doesn't work for the relationship, 
don't make the same choice again. It's going to sound obvious, but some people forget and they go, I'm going to choose myself again. And she's going to go, oh, crap, no, thank you. So be cautious. Second thing is it really does help. And I know I've been in this place myself where I go, I need to get to know something about the um, the scale, the range, the spectrum of choices I can make for my partner that she'll like. Because if your partner happens to be vegan and you want to take her to a steak joint and she didn't, you didn't know her that about that, that about her, that can be problematic. So it's good to do a little research, you know, get some, do some groundwork. So you know, like what she prefers, if she likes noisy, busy places or quiet, romantic places. Things that you get to know ahead of time, you can then add into your um, rolodex of things that you use in your planning to take her out on dates. So again, before you in a relationship, she gets to choose and decide. Once you're in a relationship, you lead a lot more as the man by choosing deciding for her. But again, with deference, remember, I've talked about this many times before, about being a gentleman. It's inherent in the man who is a gentleman, who's a masculine man leading. He does it with appreciation and respect for his partner. So he's not saying, I'm deciding for you because I want to go see a movie and you're going to go with me. It's like, no, that's not how it works. You are still including her in your planning without actually necessarily having her input. So you've got to accommodate her from a very caring place but do it in a way that is surprising to her so she can enjoy the ride because the the enjoyment of the excitement the thrill of the surprise the relaxation into a feminine are gifts that she will love you for so that's a powerful lesson so i hope you can take this to heart i'll see if there's anything else on that one this one's uh, this one i said it was going to be a short broadcast i had a feeling i need to read two main pieces before and after how men and women um can choose in effective ways this is more. This actually is a polarity thing as well between masculine and feminine because the masculine generally is the lead, but the feminine has the decision to choose and, makes, and has control over this. So this is really the um, couple of nuances on this. And these are just examples. Um, there's one other piece, I think. Yes. So talking about in relationship, you make, it's good for you to lead and to decide and make the plans. And I said, part of this is being the gentleman, about being accommodating and understanding where she is to know that you treat her right. That includes when she says, I want to decide, instead of you. Letting her make that choice is a powerful place to enable and inspire her, but, and the key one, or, or and, if she does it every time, you're going to be in trouble. So as a man in your masculine to take the decision-making back, to take, I don't say control is the wrong word, but to take back that um, leadership role is important for you to stay in your masculine. But if she wants to lead once in a while, that doesn't de- debase you or take you away from it. It actually allows you freedom to play and have fun and let her play. It's almost like in the sexual polarity piece, which one of my t- coaches talks about, that the masculine is the one that takes charge in bed. But truly in a healthy relationship at certain times the woman takes charge too you take turns not usually 50 50 but usually it's like 70 30 something like that again depending on your own polarity and i I did a deep conversation about this last week about the masculine feminine polarity but in the um in the bedroom so to speak well literally depending on what you do unless you do on the washing machine i mean i'm getting into where you do your sexual um excitement but the components of this are that who leads in the relation who leads in sex who leads in the sexual connection quite often is the one who's the masculine energy which ideally is the man but it's not 100% of the time in fact it's better if it's not 100% of the time cuz it gets too predictable and it gets too um expressed ecstatic and it gets it gets too um ri- um that's what we're looking for routine that's the word and it's not good so that's three areas i think i give you some clarity on <laughs> So again, before a relationship, when you're in a relationship, and in the bedroom. So if you miss the re- miss this broadcast, go back and watch the replay. Um, hope that helps, gives you some inspiration. These are talks about mine towards the men, but this is really for the fam- this is really for the men to wake up, for the women to appreciate too. My work is with women mostly, although some men have sort of at me for help. Um, this is my 370th Facebook Live daily broadcast, and these will live on my business page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby Author, as well as on my YouTube channel, where you'll see the replay. Um, which is under Barry Selby's the channel and message for the masculine is the playlist. If you want help in the area of love and relationships, come seek me out. You can sign up for a discovery session as my gift to you on my website, which is barryselby.com forward slash chat. 
And uh, if you have questions, comments about this broadcast, please put them in the comments below and I'll answer them when I sign off. I appreciate you watching, as always. Back in tomorrow. We'll see if there's another Men Listen Up talk coming through tomorrow. I haven't planned ahead yet. See what's coming through. But I did do one yesterday and on Monday. I recommend you watch if you haven't seen those. Um, those are pretty powerful. This was just kind of a light-hearted one, so to speak. So with that, I appreciate you watching. I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. Bye.